Well, billions of dollars are at stake tonight in what's shaping up to be a Hollywood backlash against Georgia. As it stands, the state's film and TV industry brings in nearly $10 billion annually to Georgia, and more than 92,000 people are employed by the burgeoning entertainment business here. Tonight, some of them are telling our Mike Dunstan why they're worried because Brian Kemp won the governor's race. Mike, explain. Yeah, Thomas, we're talking about another religious freedom bill, and some say it'll protect religious rights, but others say it's a license to discriminate. How long is it going to take? At DeKalb County's Frat Pack Productions, it's a really big deal Rowan me. Boussad runs lines with a fellow actor. He and Darren Kahn co-own the audition taping business. Just to have the threat of our governor kind of having an infinity gauntlet that like a snap of the fingers essentially could half the industry overnight, that's scary. I will veto House Bill 7. Two and a half years ago, Governor Deal said no to a religious freedom bill, saying this is about the character of our state and the character of its people. Brian Kemp's spokesperson sent me this statement. Governor-elect Kemp has been crystal clear for the past two years. He fully supports a film tax credit and would sign a religious freedom bill that mirrors federal statute, which protects people of faith and does not discriminate. If people feel like that's being attacked, then they will pull out. They won't stand for it. Hollywood is known to... Uh, set strong boundaries in that regard. Dry cleaners, restaurants, hotels, who would immediately have a lot less business if this industry wasn't here. Both are hopeful the industry will stay here, but also want our next state leader to consider this. I think Governor Kemp would be wise to look into how many people are coming from blue states, how many new blue registered voters that never lived here before are now a part of this community and how is that going to affect his elections in the future? And we should know a whole lot more when Georgia lawmakers meet Monday, January 14th at 10 a.m. at the Capitol. You can count on us to keep you updated. We're live in the newsroom, Mike Dunstan, CBS 46 News. Mike, thanks.